So you're going to arrive about a day ahead of the rest of the group. So, oh, 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 yes, right. yeah, so we'll call you as soon as we get there and, uh, uh, and, and be able to arrange for that so we can come down. And, and we also want you to take our group to the Temple Mount. What an amazing that event that will be. Okay, okay I love it. All right, let's talk a little bit right now. Uh, folks, we have with us Rabbi Yehuda Glick. He is joining us live from, are you in Jerusalem? I think you're in your yeah, own. Yeah, Jerusalem, yes. Jerusalem, Jerusalem all the time. time. <laughs> live from Jerusalem. And of course, I just saw you live on another network. Uh, I think it was Israeli Daily, Israel Daily or something. And uh, big news. I'm sitting here holding a news article right here. Uh, I saw yesterday where you had commented how important it was that it was prophecy being fulfilled, Zechariah prophecy, when um, the National Security Minister of Israel, uh, Ben Gavir, just visited the Temple Mount. He was the first Knesset minister while in office to visit the Temple Mount in five years. Um, and uh, so you, a former member of the Knesset, and I know I visited you at your office. Uh, we even got a chance to speak together at the Knesset. Uh, what a wonderful day that was. So tell us, the United Nations Security Council has uh, slated to meet, uh, according to reports, the United, United Nations Security Council will convene and they're going to hold an emergency session to discuss the National Security Minister's visit, Ben Gavir, uh, and, uh, but they have not set a date for this meeting. Now, it was requested by the United Arab Emirates and China, of all people. <coughs> so, okay, <laughs> so, first of all, I think it's, I want to say this. First of all, I think it's wonderful that Ben Gavir went up on the Temple Mount, and I think it's also wonderful that he is the National Security Minister. I think it's wonderful, and uh, and, I, and I'm really happy that Benjamin and Yahoo's back in position. And I will, I, when I come, I actually hope I could get to interview either Ben Gavir or Netanyahu. I would love to do that because I'm going to stay a few days after. Uh, so anyway, maybe I'll talk to your people who maybe could help me get arranged that. So how excited are you about the <laughs> Temple Mount and and the and Jerusalem and everything that's going on? Shalom. Shalom. First of all, I'm excited, I'm excited to speak to my great, great friend, friend, Paul Begley, and I'm always, always excited to be at your program. program. I always, always uh, get a lot, a lot of, of wonderful, wonderful responses. responses. It's always great. We love you. You're our favorite <laughs> guest on our program. <laughs> Everybody loves you. And, and, and what, what I can I say is that uh, it, it, it's, it's really, really crazy, crazy that uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, committee, the United, United, United Nations, Nations, you know, when there's violence on Temple Mount, we, we barely, barely hear anybody, anybody condemning him. Right. But when, when a minister, minister who's in charge of the security, security goes as a, as a Jew to visit, visit the holy place, place in the world, to pray, pray. suddenly pray. the world is going crazy. crazy. What, what what's going to happen? happen? We have <laughs> we to have condemn, condemn it. it. Yes. We, we are, are here, here, as you know, to change the music. Amen. We want the Temple Mount to be holy again. We want the Temple Mount to be the, be the place, place where, where we, we promote, promote prayer. This is that is what it's supposed to do. We want the, this place to be a house of prayer for all nations. Isn't Amen. that what it's supposed to be? Isn't yes. what expected on the holiest place in the world, chosen by God, believed by billions of people who follow the Bible? What aren't you expected? Aren't they supposed to be praying there? So the, so the soldiers of so the, the security committee of the United Nations is going to speak what happened the minister of Secu national security went up where, to the place was under his responsibility to make sure the public order is, is preserved and to recite prayer and he did it on, the, on a special day the day that we mark and commemorate uh, what is described in the book of Ezekiel and is described in the book of Kings and Jeremiah when Nebuchadnezzar began the siege over Jerusalem Yes. The tenth of the tenth month. On that day, he started the siege. We fast because that was for us symbol symbolizing the beginning of the destruction of the temple. Praying to God that we want, as it says by Zechariah, we want this day to become a day of, 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 of joy, a day of holiday, because that's the whole idea. You know, it talks about all the nations surrounding Jerusalem. There are two possibilities. Either they surround Jerusalem in peace, 
to announce the kingdom of Hashem, or they surround Jerusalem to put Jerusalem into a siege. So we are here to pray that this day should become a day that all of us unite in prayer to the one and only God who created us all. Amen. So I you think been, that uh, you have been so instrumental, folks. <laughs> Rabbi Yudha Glick has been so instrumental in preaching peace. Preaching, let everybody pray on the Temple Mount. Let the Jews pray. Let the Christians pray. Mm -hmm. Let the Muslims pray. He's not trying to, uh, and, and I know your heart, and uh, it's to bring peace in, in the, the city of our God, the city of the, of the great king, the city of Jerusalem, the city of gold, it's called, Listen, you know, Jerusalem. Well, I, and I, I want to tell you, you, you witnessed with your own eyes the change that, that we've seen because, you know, it was very interesting last week. When uh, the previous prime minister, uh, Yair Lapid, uh, concluded and uh, summarized his year and a half uh, that the previous government were, were in, in power, and he said, listen, one of the great achievements was that we broke the record of the amount of, of Jews and tourists visiting Temple Mount. I want to remind you that 10, 15 years ago, when, when we in Shalom Jerusalem Foundation we're promoting Jews and, and Christians to visit Temple Mount. They were saying, oh, it's dangerous. Don't bring them to the Temple Mount. Today, the left-wing prime minister is bragging that they <laughs> broke the record of Jews. So, so thank God yep. we've seen a breakthrough. Yes, and I want to tell you, it didn't happen by itself. And, I, and I'm really taking advantage of what I'm talking to you and telling you that this did not happen by itself. It happened because... I spoke on Paul Begley's show. It's, it happens because Shalom Jerusalem encouraged people to come to Temple Mount. It happens because of what we're doing. And it happened because of the support, the generous support of people around the world who support ShalomJerusalem.org. And they go and support what we're doing. And because of that, we can continue bringing more tourists to Temple Mount. Amen. And I hope to bring you, Paul, with your group next month in, in Jerusalem. And then I'm going to Houston. By the way, Houston, Texas, here we come. At the end of February, beginning of my, the end of February, we will have a, a Jerusalem prayer breakfast in Houston, Texas. Oh, and wow. it will be hosted by, 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 yes, yes, a Jerusalem prayer breakfast in Houston, Texas on the 23rd and 24th of February. Wow. And I will be there together with the most wonderful person in the world, my wife, Hadass. <laughs> and we will be speaking there about the, the, the importance of the Temple Mount and the centrality of it. And we will be speaking also about what our ministry with the widows and the orphans. And I want to tell you that it's, it, 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 what we, we, we've made great achievements, but we have a long way to go. So yeah. I want to pray together with you that this government, this new government, the new minister of, uh, of national security, Itamar Ben-Gvir, the, 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 the once again prime minister Netanyahu, they should walk in the footsteps of Hashem. They should understand that we have a mission that the people of Israel should call out in God's name and we should be a source of blessing to all the nations. We should be a source of blessings to the families of the earth. And we should together unite in turning the Temple Mount into a house of prayer for all nations, changing the music there. And together we will let the Temple Mount be holy again. And I want to pray to God that they, he should guide them. You should let them overcome all the obstacles because you know that a lot of committees in the United Nations and a lot of committees in China and in, in, in other countries are here looking for us not to succeed. But God wants us to succeed. Amen. So thank you, all our friends around the world. That's, Today, I, 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 I really, I think that's the website right there. I just put it on the screen, www.shalomjerusalem.org. Right, shalomjerusalem.org. I think it's right over here. Shalom yeah. Jerusalem Foundation, Zionism, Next Generation. That's what go. we're doing. We're bringing about the call to Zion. It, as it says, God should bless you, Psalm 128. God should bless you from Jerusalem, from Zion, through all of your lives. And you should see children to your ch children. And you shall see Shalom upon Israel. Shalom Jerusalem. The concept of God being the God of Shalom. The God who unites the whole world. And we should all pray to be a Flame in his menorah to bring Amen. that light to the entire world. Here's so a I'm, picture. There's oh a picture. my gosh, thank you. Yep, that Ooh. is. There is Itamar Bengvir on the Temple Mount together with my good friend, Mr. Eshom Chanel Bum. And I want to tell you, I was on Temple Mount this week three times. On Praise Monday, God. on Tuesday, and today. I had the privilege of going on to Temple Mount today and uh, praying the afternoon prayer there on Temple Mount. And I was, uh, uh, we were there today. I, I, I made a prayer. 
one of my friends who got a, a position in the gov- in the Knesset, and we play- thanked God and we prayed that he should succeed. I also um, m- commemorated uh, my wife, by the way, my, my ex-wife, Yafi, who passed away exactly five years ago uh, this week. But uh, mainly, uh, she was with me on Temple Mount, and we were promoting this whole activity together. But uh, I was on Temple Mount on Monday and on Tuesday, and they threatened us. Because of Ben Gvir's visit, there's going to be a third world war. Let me tell you, I was on Temple Mount. I couldn't find the third world war. Maybe I missed it. Maybe I came too late. I don't know. Either <laughs> it, it hadn't come yet or it's going to listen. We want to see the third, not world war. We want to see the third world shalom. When we say rebuild season three, we're going to be see season three of, of rebuilding God's temple. And it's going to happen all of us together. Amen. Thank you so much, Paul. It's wonderful to see you. It's wonderful to, to be with you. Oh, and I'm going to be seeing you. Those of you who are here and want to host us in, in, in Houston, Texas, contact us and we'll be happy to, to come speak to you in, in Houston, Texas. We're waiting to see your group, Paul, here in I Israel will, in February. I, let me ask you a question also. I'm bringing my group. Uh, I'll be there February 7th through the 7th, 17th. The group will be there. Uh, Anybody who didn't come to Israel with Paul Bigley, you don't know what you missed. Join Paul. If, if there's still room on your trip, still sign room. up right now. There's still room. And I think I got 64. I really think we need 70. I mean, there's, so there's some people. We can take 100. But, I mean, come on. Come on. And let me say this, Rabbi. When you come back to America, are you going to be here? How long are you going to be here? We're going we're gonna to be as much as God wants us to be there. We'll probably be there probably usually somewhere like two weeks is what we usually come. We, are we'll you going to are we oh, because so you're not going to come to Florida to see not Justin. this time. This time it's going to be Houston, Texas. I may come see you in Houston then if it's okay. I, I, I take that as a threat, it's a slight threat. <laughs> <laughs> I, if you come to see me, then I am I'll know you are healthy and I'll praise God. And if you come, okay. you better bring your Heidi with you, of course, because, uh, the two of you are one. Yes, well, we're Heidi's coming with me. We're going to uh, Jerusalem, bringing a bunch of beautiful folks with us. It's just you, you uh, personally taking us to the Temple Mount will be the highlight of the whole trip. You listen, I want to bless you that you won't have 70. You will have 75 because this year we're marking 75 years for the independence of the state of Israel. So I want to bless you that you will have 75 uh, on your group. All and right. It'll be a group celebrating. And guys, anybody who hasn't signed up to, to join Paul on the trip to Israel, you don't know what you're missing. You won't. You come to see how God is coming out of the book, materializing, and the prophecies are being fulfilled. you got to see it with your own eyes. And, uh, and listen, as it says in the verse, it's a very famous verse. Are you serious? <laughs> that's, a, that's a very holy verse. So, uh, <laughs> guys, now, we are serious. God is serious. Is, now you guys have to be serious. Now you know something, and, and I, I've been friends with Rabbi Hudiglick now for a long time. Uh, he was as we all know, had was uh, was shot. Some of you may not know this, so you may not know this, but he was shot four times uh, in October of 2014 uh, as he was coming out of the uh, Menachem Begin Conference Center. He had spoke that night, and an assassin tried to kill him. By the grace of God, the Lord spared his life. And uh, I put out a worldwide cry for prayer, and, and I asked Christians and Jews and uh, all around the world to pray for him. And uh, I never met him before, but God told me he was a man who had been chosen by God. That's the word I got from the Lord. You were chosen by God, and and that I should have everyone pray. So when I came to Jerusalem the next spring in April of 2015, uh, and then again I came back in October of 2015, Rabbi Glick took me to the very location and, and walked the very ground where he had been shot and where his blood had been spilt there on the, the cobblestone streets of this great city. And uh, your heart then was never bitter. This, Folks, I want to say this. The man is never bitter. He's always been humble. His whole, his whole mission was, please, can't we all just go and pray and live in peace? So let me ask you. I understand that it's very peaceful up on the Temple Mount. World War III has not happened. Am I, am I, am I right? <laughs> I was on Temple Mount three or three times this week. It's peace and quiet. And I want to tell you, first of all, uh, it's a good good, good uh, opportunity for me to thank all those who listened to your call that time, those days, and prayed for me. Guys, here I am, uh, alive and well. Thanks. The only thanks to those prayers. Nothing else. Uh, thanks to those prayers. And thank you so much here. 
I am truly alive and broadcasting live from Jerusalem because I'm alive thanks to your prayers. And I want to say that the Temple Mount, which in those days was a very uh, bitter place to be. It was, uh, we were suffering from violence, harassment, incitement. And we made a major change. We've outlawed all of that on Temple Mount. And I can tell you that when I was on Temple Mount this week, I met tourists. You won't believe from where. Italy, Philippines, Germany. You know, I, today I, I had a wonderful meeting with a guy from the Bahamas. You're from Florida, around the corner. Yep. We yep. had a wonderful, I had a wonderful tour today with a guy from the Bahamas. He was on the Temple Mount and he saw me. He said, yo, Rabbi Glick, I know you. And I said, what? Somebody in the Bahamas knows me also. The guy, it, it's not me they know. You have right. to know Hashem. And we in ShalomJerusalem.org are trying to bring people to know Hashem and to know the place he chose to rest his divine presence. So if you partner with ShalomJerusalem.org, if you sign up for a recurring small donation or big donation, and, and you become partnering with us, you are part of making that change in the world. You are writing yeah. the next chapters of the Bible. You are making the words of God become, uh, are, are, uh, materializing and become a reality. Right. So anybody who participates in what we're doing, you are doing some great things. And I, we couldn't have believed, if I would have told somebody that Itamar ben would be the Minister of, Natural, of National Security five years ago, it would be impossible. Impossible. You know, but, you know, you know, they were writing sermons of eulogy over Netanyahu. He's finished. He's, he's finished. He's finished. So let me tell you, even the, the he's finished announcements are finished. But still, we also have to remember that it's, we have to be humble in front of Hashem. We go yeah. up to Temple Mount humbly and we stand there in front of Hashem, God Almighty. And we're there in his presence. And we have to remember that. And we don't go out to show to show off. We go there humbly to be in the presence of Hashem. So uh, those of you who join Paul next for February on February, we will go together on Temple Mound, and I hope we will be able to recharge spiritual batteries and really connect to Hashem. And the idea is not to connect ourselves; it's to take right. back those batteries and serve God around the world. So uh, I Amen. hope, I strongly hope that we will succeed in serving, and we will be worthy. Of serving Hashem and, and his emissary in the world. And folks, he's right. You'll be a part of prophecy uh, being fulfilled. If you go to his, uh, right now, go to his website at www.shalomjerusalem.org and make, yep. a, donation, you, make a donation. You come in right now. You go into shalomjerusalem.org right now. Don't wait. Go and right now. Wait. Make us a recurring donation and you will be part of the great things that are happening in the world. And uh, I thank you so much, Paul. It's really wonderful talking to you. And you really, you, you as, as, as energetic as I am, whenever I talk to you, I become even more. Uh, Are you serious? Are you serious? It's because it's 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 the Lord. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if you, I don't know if the camera of my phone is good enough, but I don't oh, know if you see there's, there's a string on my head being that God's pulling me, and I don't do it. We don't do anything by ourselves. He pulls the strings, and that's what we're and that's what we do. We are walking in wherever He takes us. Amen. Amen. Well, God bless you. And uh, shalom, shalom. I will see you soon. All right. I'll see you very soon. Shalom, shalom. We love you. Shalom, shalom. We love you. Let me just, you know, maybe I even have a chauffeur here somewhere. We'll blow the chauffeur here. Let me oh. take a look. I'm, if you wait a few seconds, we'll blow a chauffeur together. And, uh, let me see. Oh, you got a I think I have a small, I think I have a small chauffeur here. One second. I'm going to go get the. I'm going to get I the have. shofar. Wait one second. Here I am. Here I have the small ram shofar, and we're going to. And I want everybody listening to the shofar to concentrate on the word hineni. Here I am to serve you. And if you want to serve a Yashem, you can go and make your contribution right after we finish the blowing the shofar. <laughs> Thank you.
us. We got in the same key even, okay? <laughs> well, we moved to Shafar from Jerusalem all the way to Florida. Oh, God, bless you. God bless. God bless. Shalom, shalom. I will shalom, see you. Shalom. I love you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. You. Bye -bye. Rabbi Yehuda Glick, folks, what a wonderful, wonderful man. Oh, praise God. I'm so I'm just so proud of my brother. Uh, and, and the work he does is incredible. It's just incredible, folks. Incredible. And you can go to his website there and contribute if you like at shalomjerusalem.org. But yes, the United, the United Security Council, UN Security Council did. They were so upset that Ben Gavir, the minister of security, would actually visit the Temple Mount. They thought this was going to create the massive World War III. And yes, there are those that are enemies of Israel that are out there, folks, that truly are out there who are trying to stop peace. They say they want peace, but really what they want is the elimination of Jews from, and, and, and really the elimination of Israel as a nation. That's really what they want. They don't want peace because the Jews constantly offer peace. Um, and it's, it's the honest truth. Um, I look forward to being there with uh, Rabbi Glick. I think it'd be a wonderful time uh, coming up soon. And those of you going with me are going to be a part of prophecy, going to be a part of history when you go. Because to have Rabbi Yehuda Glick take our group up to the Temple Mount and be our personal guide up there is historic. It's 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 just it's it's actually a miracle, and it's prophecy. Uh, no no doubt about that. So you're going to have a you're going to have a Protestant pastor, Christian walking side by side with a Jewish rabbi in the holy city of Jerusalem on the Temple Mount with uh, with our wonderful group that's going with us. And uh, all of you that are a part of Public Prophecy Ministries, God bless all of you for standing with Israel because the Bible says if you bless Israel, you will be blessed, but the Lord will curse them that curse Israel. Uh, also, let me put a real, a real quick shout out if I could for www.noblegoldinvestment.com. Uh, just simply because they are good friends of our ministry and good, good, uh, really good partners with us. And they have uh, this, this right now, this month, they have a great, a, a great opportunity for every person that wants to um, get involved really uh, with the, all the events that are taking place as far as this world's events that are happening, how that you are recognized as a, uh, important, very important, and how your retirement funds are so important. So Noble Gold Investments is very pleased to let you know that gold is the best investment class for 2022. According to longtermtrends.net, gold has actually outperformed the S&P 500, the Dow Jones, and Bitcoin during the year 2022. So what are we waiting for, guys? Open up a gold IRA or a silver IRA at noblegoldinvestments.com. If you do that this month, you'll receive a free one quarter of an ounce American Gold Eagle coin with every qualified IRA of $50,000 or more. This is a great free gift, one quarter of an ounce American Gold Eagle coin. They'll give it to you at noblegoldinvestment.com. You can also call them on the phone today at 877 646 5347, and tell them that Pastor Paul Begley sent you there. Well, you know, when we talk about the uh, prophecies of the Temple Mount, uh, all the things that have happened there. In 1967, of course, the Temple Mount was completely under the control of the Jordanian uh, police and the, and the nation of Jordan. Uh, but uh, Jordan, as well as Egypt and, uh, and uh, Syria and Lebanon and the Palestinians within uh all rose up against israel and israel had to defeat this five front war and they did it in six days and while they defeated their enemies they actually took back the temple mount for the first time and that was in 1967 so although israel now is in has the temple mount back in their control they still allow jordan the jordan the nation of jordan to help supervise it to maintain, uh, you know, a, a peaceable environment so that the Muslims who go up there to pray on the Dome of the Rock right there behind me or at the al Ask Mosque that's up on the Temple Mount and that they're allowed to worship and pray. And they've always been allowed to do that. 
but also Christians and Jews want to go up there because it's so important place. This is where Solomon's temple was. This is where the King Herod's temple was. When Solomon's temple was there, we all know that God said that God dwelt in the Holy of Holies, right there in the Holy of Holies. It says God dwelt on the mountain there, right there. And uh, we know that for Christians, what an important location, because when King Herod's temple was there, Jesus would come, he would teach in the temple, or he would teach on the outside of the temple, on the steps of the temple. And he performed miracles and healings and miraculous, uh, powerful uh, words of wisdom and messages he preached. Uh, it was a tremendous time uh, for the city of Jerusalem. So it's an important location for the Jews and the Christians and, and the Muslims. So why not let everybody be allowed to come up and, and uh, have freedom? So National Security Minister uh, Ben Gavir, his visit to the Temple Mount may have uh, upset the United Nations Security Council, may have made some uh, enemies of peace very angry. But uh, I think what he's done is he's saying everyone is truly allowed and I'm going to maintain that, allowing that. We're not really going to be dictated no more by what the world governing body says, but Israel is going to manage its own affairs. What will this all bring us to? Well, it'll bring us to some very powerful prophetic times in the Bible. We can talk about that when we go to Israel and you'll be able to see it with your own eyes. I'm also going to be filming a lot when I'm in Israel. A matter of fact, Israel Hall not only will be providing us with a lot of great music and, and working with all of our other musicians that are coming with us, but uh, he'll also be uh, taking care of the uh, filming on location uh, in several locations so throughout this trip. So I think you're going to get a tremendous amount of blessing. Even if you don't get to go, even if you can't go, we're going to have a lot of great footage, great pictures, and great film that we'll be able to share with you and, and the music even uh, that we'll make available for you when we get back home and put it all together. So God bless you guys. We'll also do some live broadcasting from Jerusalem. And so you're going to be a you get to walk with us daily, be a part of it, okay? As we will all work, work, walk together uh, in the love of the Lord. The 75th year of Israel's a nation. The prophecies, the fig tree generation is alive and well, and we're all a part of it. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're running out of time, folks. We seriously are. And you know that these prophecies that are being fulfilled are bringing us so much closer to the coming of the Lord. God bless all of you. I'll be back with more current world events and how they relate to biblical prophecy right here, right here on the coming apocalypse.